Yo ho ho! Welcome once again to Microwave Me. Today your captain's gonna be microwaving Brillo pads. Guaranteed value because he's too poor to afford proper Brillo pads. Eh, just kidding. I'm not that low budget. And just in time, too, because Demi, the microwave, really needs a good cleaning. This microwave needs a good thorough scrubbing. What better to do it with than a nice old Brillo pad? Oh, man. I think the wave guard or whatever it is mounted. Whoa, this microwave seen better days. Oh, there's still more egg. <laughs> Never do a dozen eggs at once, kids. Or you'll be cleaning your microwave for ages. Okay. Now time to do a dry Brillo pad. Get a nice show. And shut off the lights and then start the microwave. Since this will light things up like a Christmas tree, we don't need the auxiliary microwave illuminator. Two minutes should do the trick. And start. That was awesome. Okay, that I am definitely going to say has been my favorite experiment so far. You know what? I'm just going to have to give her another minute.
Whoa. That was just pure awesomeness. I mean, we had fire, we had plasma, we even had a mysterious BOOM of some sort. Not a loud boom, but a light boom. So I have no idea what caused that. Right now, let's examine the post-product. And what do I see? I see a burnt Brillo pad. Okay, now, my verdict as to whether or not this is safe to do at home? Absolutely not. Bad idea. Really bad idea, even. I mean, if it was doing that and even catching on fire, you do not want to do this at home. It could actually be dangerous and not just to your microwave. So... Awesome television, best bad idea ever, but do not, I repeat, do not do this at home. Ever.